Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're gonna to take a look at templates in layout. So we just did a video, uh, if you follow along, it was two days ago, after this video was released. If it's in the future, it was sometime in the past, where we talked about what templates are inside of SketchUp. This was a combination of, you know, what's what's in a template, like what does a template include, but then also, how to create them, how to use them, that kind of thing. And that's exactly the same thing we want to do here inside of layout. So let's do it. Okay, so here I am, I'm looking at a blank page, really. I have this uh, really basic, simple example of a title block on here. Uh, it's just a series of, of rectangles and fake text and that kind of stuff. If you guys ever see this, this is a little, little behind the scene thing, but uh, if you ever see our videos and you see these gray boxes instead of text, that, that's actually what they are. Uh, we do this because we have to localize a lot of our content for other countries, other languages, that kind of thing. So I know my logo is a big A, but hey, I'm Aaron, so you know it works. But that's why we do that. We have these texts not because we don't know how words work, but because we don't want to have to do this for every language we support. So it's kind of generic pretend text. I'm just going to take that all and put it in a group just just to keep it simple to work with. All right, so now uh, I'm on here, I have my group, and let's talk about what's in a template. <clears throat> so a template is gonna include, obviously, what's on the page right now. So by putting it properly in the template, I can have this title bar show up on all my pages, that kind of stuff. I don't have to import it or anything like that, it just shows up. Um, over here, some of the stuff we look at, everything that's on my page is gonna get saved into a template, just like, in SketchUp, a template is just a layout file. It's a layout file that has some information in it, and it just, when you start a new job, it opens up that layout file, puts it on the screen, and you're you're going. Um, so same idea is what we do in SketchUp. Over here to the side, uh, some of the things that are included on here are any layers I put in there. So if you, most people who use layout, you know, do, do similar jobs again and again and again. So in that situation, there's probably a good chance that you're creating the same layers over and over and over again. Same with pages. Um, you have a cover page and then uh, an internal page and then maybe a, a end page or appendix page, something like that. That's all saved. The different pages, page types are all saved in inside of your layout template. Additionally, things like the default for things like dimensions, which is a per specific one that I run into, I find I, I'm constantly going through and changing my style away from the default. I don't have to do that. If I do it once and save it into my template, it's just done. I don't have to do anything else. So we're gonna talk about how to do that. The other thing I wanna point out is there are settings and document information in side of layout. And they're not all, they're not both saved with the template. So if I come up here to my settings window, this is under layout on Mac, it's in the Windows menu on Windows. If I go into settings right here, uh, all this stuff, all these things that are in here, this is how layout runs. This is not saved into the template. So none of this stuff is going to go with the template. This is all saved for my local installation. This is how I want layout to work. So that means I could take somebody else's template and it's not going to mess with my settings here. Something else to note, of course, is folders. Uh, right here, we talked about scrapbooks before. This time we're talking about templates. These are the locations that I have the option of saving my templates to. So my the top one, this is hard-coded. This is my default templates, where are they located? They're actually in the installation. And this will look different, obviously, if you're on Windows rather than Mac, but that's what they are. Below that, I have a hard-coded, see it's grayed out there, location to save files, and then I have uh, the my preferred mess or location right here. Um, I stay away from this one with a little tilde right there. That's how I say that uh, because that's a hidden file on most fold, on most computers, most Macs. So I go with this one. So yeah, so this is saved not in the template, but for my installation of layout. What will go along with that though, is if I go to file and I hit document setup, this information right here will go with the template. So we have some stuff in here like viewport. Um, I like my display to be medium because it's less processing. I don't have to, you know, crank on stuff as hard. It's a little bit quicker, faster. Uh, if I wanted to, I could even go to low, but 
I just, I just can't do it. I can't go to low. I mediums as low as I can go. And then I have my output set to high, of course. So when I print this out or send it out to a PDF, it'll go out as high. Uh, that's just going to speed up, make the rendering to screen faster, and then what comes out look as nice as possible. And then things like units. What units do I want to use? Uh, I usually don't go to 64th anything. I do a 16th is about as small as I go, so I could save that in there. Uh, it is fractional inches, but if I want to go to decimal and then you know, use whatever other uh, value I want. But then just stuff like where what auto text is saved. We talked about auto text in the last couple of videos. So I have, if I have auto text that I want all the time going with my 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 layout files, I could put that in there. Do I want the grid on? Or I don't really like the grid, so I usually have it turned off. Um, but yeah, so you can you can you can set all these settings, and it's going to be saved as part. Oh, that was an important one. Paper. What size paper you're working on? I only have a letter sized uh, printer at home. So I usually just do everything I didn't have by 11, but if you have access to a D size plot or whatever, put that in there. Uh, and then, uh, of course references, I want to make sure I purge this, this, this is, this is a do this thing. So if you're creating this fresh, uh, template, I'm creating it from an existing document and I'm going to want to purge to get all that out. I don't want to have links to files going with my template unless those files are actually part of what's always on screen. So, what do I mean by that? I mean, like if I have uh, on the title block, I have a block of text that uh, pulls from a text file that may change over time. Like, I don't know, company information, something like that, that pulls out of a text file. I might want to put that on there, which would give me a reference to a file. I just want to make sure that file is in a location that my template can always get to it. Otherwise, it's going to show up as a broken link. All right. So let's let's talk about this. Let's get this thing ready to be a template. So. I'm gonna do a couple things. I wanna add a, multiple layers because I do like organizing my stuff when it goes into layout. And if my layers are already set up, it's gonna be that much quicker to keep things organized, that much easier. One less hurdle, one less <laughs> problem. And then I also wanna create two different pages. I want a cover page and then I want an interior page. Um, I'm also gonna change, like I said, my dimension style. I just noticed that for me, I don't love the default dimension setup. There's a couple things I wanna change about. So I'm gonna change all that. So let's start over here with layers. I'm just going to add a couple of them. Just going to click like that. Um, default is a nice one to have. Uh, I don't always use default, but it's a good one to have there just in case. So it's kind of a catch all. Um, I'm going to change on every page to on interior page. And then I'm going to create another layer called uh, cover only. And then uh, we'll, we'll see how we use these. And then I'm going to create a couple, like I'm going to create one here called uh, my model. I'm going to create something called text and then uh, an images uh, layer. So I want all those available to me. That's going to be perfect. All right. So now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add another page. This page is empty. That's because I haven't created anything. Uh, I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to take this, this title block, and I'm going to change it from on, right now it's just on the default. See, it's the little blue dot in case this is on the default. But I want to take it and I'm going to say move to layer on interior page. Right. So now when I come to my interior page, it's here. When I come over to here, it shows up, but it only shows up because my on interior page is turned on. So if I turn that off on the cover page, you can see as I flip through here, see, and on the interior page, I don't want the cover. So there we go. So now I want to flip back and forth as I flip through these. In fact, on the cover, I don't really want any text model info. All I'm going to really want to put on there is my cover title block and my image over here. Everything's on except for the cover only. So I get that all set up. What does my cover consist of? Well, I didn't really make that. I, I'm going to take this. I'm going to click in here. Uh, so I'm going to just select all. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come back over here. I'm coming to my cover page with the cover only. And I'm going to say edit, paste to current layer. It's going to show up here. I'm going to simplify this just plus so it's easy to tell what's our cover page. All right. And there we go. So I'm going to take that, make it a new group. And this is now my cover title block. So on my cover page, which let's go ahead and change this. Let's call this cover page. 
on my cover page, my cover only tag is a visible and a working tag. Sorry, I'm, I overlearned myself on not saying layers because we changed layers to tags in SketchUp. Now I keep saying tags instead of layers when they're actually appropriate layers. They are layers because they lay one on top of another. So something like this with the cover, I probably want the cover all the way at the top, right? Because that's going to go over the top. Um, and then my these are going to be on the inside. Uh, model will probably be at the bottom and I want texts to go over top of that. So that's a, a good thing to have too is have these in the proper order. But now, so on my cover page, all I have is my cover title block and then I have a tag here for uh, my image, a layer here for my image. When I go to my first page, my full title block shows up, my cover disappears, and I have all of these other ones available. Uh, if I wanted to, I could even do something like maybe lock the, the this uh, title block, that way I can't change it. That would work if all of your text fields in here were auto text, so they automatically update like the page number and anything like that. Uh, if you had to go in there and edit them, you may want to keep that unlocked, but I'm going to pretend that I'm just wonderful at this sort of thing, and that's where I'm at with that. All right, so there we go. So now if I come in, I make additional pages, when I make page three, page three also gets the title block automatically, also automatically locked, and I can flip through like that, awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I don't need that extra page. Uh, let's talk about the other thing. So anything else I want to change as a default, if I want shape or anything like that, uh, some things I know somebody's going to ask scrapbooks, scrapbooks are saved in my installation, not in the template. So I don't have to worry about updating that. Um, but I am going to, like I said, I don't love the default dimension. So I'm just going to draw a thing here to dimension real quick. And I'm going to come in I'm just going to draw a dimension across here just so I can see what's going to happen. All right. So there three things I don't like. I don't like that it went down to 32nd. Like I said, I only really model to a 16th of an inch in general. Uh, just the, the, that's the detail that I work to. Um, I don't like the arrows so much. I'm, you know, it's my residential building design background. I like a little hatch mark instead of arrows. And I, my text isn't bad. I know this is a smaller page, but I'm gonna drop my text to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna do all that right now. So I'm gonna say, okay, um, change my precision down to 16th, um, change from arrows to a forward slash, forward slash. All right. And then finally, let's go to show fonts and let's drop that down from a 10 to a nine. All right. That looks cleaner. I like that a lot. So just going to test that real quick. Why didn't it change that? Okay. Now we're getting into how to do dimensions. Um, I changed this one. I did not change the default for dimensions. So if I'm in dimensions, I can come in here and make those same changes. And when I change them without something selected, forward slash, forward slash, onto the exact same change I just did. Now it's gonna change any dimension I put in from then on. So you can see that. So make sure you make the change without one selected, otherwise you're just editing that one individual. All right, so we're good. That's good, it's all perfect, that's what I want. This is my template. I want these two pages. I want these layers. I want these dimension settings. I want the set in, the, the document setup information I put in there. That's it. Let's save it. This is what I want. So I'm going to go to file and rather than save, I'm going to say save as template. It's going to bring up a little box. that shows me here's the locations you said, where do you want to put it? I want to put it into my normal library, not my library. And I'm going to call this, uh, uh, Aaron's template. I even spelled template right. That's this video is a win. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to go to file and hit new and it's going to prompt me for a template. So I have a couple things in here. One thing I have is paper templates. These are just my default templates. This is what people usually choose from when they first start. Uh, but I also have some other things here, some storyboard templates, little boxes that I can fill. Uh, images into if I was creating a storyboard, a title block. So these are just some generic title blocks. Uh, if you like them, you can work on them and, you know, <laughs> I would say edit them so that they fit your needs, but uh, they are available. If you like them the way they are, you can make that your default. And then of course I have my templates. This is the one I just created, Aaron's template. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And this doesn't open the template. This starts a new document. See, it's untitled and it populates it with all my stuff. So right now I can come in here and I can go, okay, um, I'm gonna need uh, three more pages and hit those, get all those pages in there. 
uh, have my cover page separate. All of my tech, my levels are, or, or my layers are here ready to be loaded into. So I can come in here, uh, get my model in here, pull that in, start working and everything's there. It's all done. So that's what template is. It saves you all that grunt work, all that click work, and you're just ready to go right when you come in. So like I said on the SketchUp video, if there's anything that you do every time you go into layout, you should probably consider modifying your template so you don't have to do that anymore. Um, I think we get into the habit, right? Like, okay, first thing I do is I go in and I go import my title block and I put it on there and then I start working. Well, you don't have to spend that. I know it's quick. It's five, 10 seconds because you save it and you pull it in from the same spot every time. Well, don't do that. Don't even, you know, that's 10 seconds. 10 seconds adds up if you, if you do dozens of layout files in a month, you know. Uh, so save yourself that by creating the template and you could even make it a default. If something we didn't do works exactly the same as SketchUp. If I click the little heart, then every time I come in, it's going to just pop right up. Um, so save yourself time, save yourself energy. Don't do the same things over and over again. Do them once, save them, and then just use the template. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you use templates already? Did I miss something? Uh, is there a question? Is there a part that, that, that you need more information on? Or how would you feel about a video that talks about syncing up SketchUp templates with layout templates so that your documentation is more automatic. I could make that. Let me know down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but like me more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.